So with this cute little deer, I'm starting with the bright blue at the bottom corner closest to the deer. And I'm as I move up towards the top and away from the deer, I'm adding more light blue. And then I'm going to go into some bright green. And I'm blending everything right on the canvas as I go. Next to his eye, up by his ear. And then I'm just blending it all in with the blue. start making it your own. You can add as much blue to make it more blue or add more green and make it more green. So there's no right or wrong here. Just make it your own and have lots of fun. start with a medium brown underneath of his chin and we're just going to do a little bit of blending by adding some lighter brown next to the outer side of his neck and I'm just going to blend a little bit right on the canvas Next, I'm going to add some medium brown to the inside of his ears. And for the rest of the deer, we're going to just do a little bit of color blocking, which means there's not a lot of blending. Just going to add in some dark brown 
right on top of his nose and I'm gonna continue using dark brown in the ear and next I'm gonna start adding in some orange or some brownish orange color on his neck and a little bit on top of his nose right next to that brown line and then don't forget to add some in his little ears and so both antlers is this orangey color so I like the the contrast of the orange in the blue kind of really makes this picture pop. same thing that I did I forgot to color the background between his antlers and his ears and then the little triangle space and the antlers on the other side no biggie just go back in with some green or blue Phew, now we got the background done. Now I'm going to go in with some beigey colors. I'm going to start color blocking some of his neck. Gonna add a little bit more darker brown to that beige and I'm gonna go right next to that color just to darken it up a little bit and don't forget some of that light beige on the tip of his nose
Then I'm just going to continue to use that beige um, in his ear and his forehead, some on the other ear. So next, on his little forehead, we're going to use some brighter yellow and then some bright orange. You can mix the beige and the orange together a little bit to make that lighter orangey color. You can put it on the edge of the ears, on his little cheek, underneath of his other ear. And you can see there's just a little bit of blending there, but not much. Going back in with a little bit of the darker orange. Here I've added a little bit of white to the beige to make it a little bit lighter yet. And this is just going the very tips of his muzzle and just above his nose and his lips. And this is going to go around his eyes. There's just a few things left to do. So as you're finishing up, the eyes and the nose are going to be black. And then you can use a black Sharpie or acrylic pen to use around the outline to make a nice crisp outline to make the image really pop. And then if you want to add some little circles or little dots, you can use the back of your paintbrush to make the little dots. Or you can find like little circles, um, cap of a paint container or whatever circles that you can find just go ahead and dip them in the paint and then you can just kind of put those on the corner of your camera